Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to multiply a trinomial times a trinomial. Now, when multiplying trinomials, um, it's really helpful to make sure we have a way to organize everything because we're going to be doing a lot of products in here and it's very easy to get things confused and unorganized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the multiplication of two trinomials, um, represent that as an area of a rectangle. And what it's very similar to is I was just going to multiply a length times width, where the length, rather than being an integer like 3, it's going to represent k squared minus 6k minus 4, and my width will be 7k squared minus 5k plus 7. So think about now my length is going to be case this binomial, or trinomial, and this, this trinomial. So I'm going to need a pretty big rectangle. All right. So what I'm going to do is since my length has 3 terms, I'm going to break up my length to three different sections. Since my width has three terms, I'm going to break that in, up into three sections. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write these out, make sure I keep uh, the value or the sign of each one of those terms with it. So now what I'm going to do is now that I have each one of my terms and I've represented them as a length and a width of a rectangle, now what I can do is I can just multiply these products or multiply to find the area of each one of these uh, rectangles. Then I can combine them up. So k squared times 7k is 7k to the fourth. k squared times negative 5k is a negative 5k cubed k squared times 7 is 7k squared. Negative 6k times 7k times 7k squared is a negative 42k cubed. Negative 6k times negative 5k is 30k. Negative 6k times positive 7 is a negative 42k. Negative 4 times positive 7k is a negative 28 k squared, negative 4 times negative 5 gives me a positive 20 k, and negative 4 times positive 7 gives me a negative 28. And again, just to go, go over this again, all I did to find the area of each one of these is I just multiplied its length times its width, the length times the width, the length times the width. So I did that with each one of these boxes to find the area. Now. Uh, now what I need to do is, you know, combine them all out to get to see, get them into a polynomial. And usually when I did binomials, um, I would write them all out and then combine my like terms. But you can see how everything's organized in its own little rectangle, right? That's kind of nice. We like it that way. I'm not going to write these all out because one thing is more work, and second thing, it's just a lot to write out, and it's going to be more possibilities for me to make mistakes. The cool thing I noticed about this is I noticed some patterns. These two boxes are similar. They both have k cubed in them, meaning they're like terms, meaning that I can combine them. These three boxes also have something in common. That's k squared, of course. Therefore, these have all have k squared, meaning I can combine all of these. And then these two boxes also have something in common, where they're both k to the first power, meaning I can combine them. So rather than writing out everything and then combining these terms, I notice that I can just combine these diagonals. So it's a pretty cool pattern that I see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out my product. So I have 7k to the fourth. Then my k cubed, I can combine these. So negative 42k cubed minus 5k cubed is a negative 47k cubed. Negative 28 squared plus 30k squared plus 7k squared. Now, why am I saying plus? Because they're positive, so there would be a plus. So therefore, that gives me negative 20k squared plus 30k squared is 2k squared plus another 7k squared is going to be a positive 9k squared. 20k minus 42k is a negative 22k and then minus 28. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I've just multiplied the trinomial times the trinomial to produce this product. Thanks.